You've done that, you've been here at this level now. Does this look like for you personally in this group where you should be at this point in the year? Uh, for sure, you know, we're still going up. You know, we still haven't reached our peak. We still haven't played our, uh, our best game yet. Um, so we all waiting for that our best game, you know, where everybody's playing. And uh, it may come, it may not come, but we always know that if one person is on, the next person will be on. And uh, we just got to find ways to win. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Much of the guys was already asking about at halftime. Dylan said the PG-15 version was clearly pushes up. So what, what was his message at halftime that changed? Yeah, no, I like Oh, uh, Simo at halftime. Yeah, uh, you know, he's just, uh, you know, boys to be a man. Um, trying to grow up, you know, uh, and stop getting pumped, you know, um, beat him on physical team. That's what came out of it. And then what's he meant? Obviously, Leo goes down, he goes back into the rotation. He's playing well, he does that at halftime. What's he meant for y'all? I mean, these last two games, he has been phenomenal. So, um, he's crashing his last, making big, making big plays. Um, he made key, uh, key buckets, you know, um, a couple offensive rebounds he's had, putbacks, you know, it's been uh, incredible. Janai, uh, one of the unexpected ones is Dylan trying to get, get you guys off the slide after that 7-0 run by Mississippi State. He had the dunk and then a deflection and then a dunk again. What was that like to see for him? Uh, that got me off my feet. You know, uh, me, I, the reason why I'm okay with being on the bench is because I know Dylan's behind me and uh, I love when he's on the court you know, because we have a great relationship. Um, so watching him get a dunk, go out and get a block, and then get a dunk again, you know, that just got me on my feet, makes me happy. What was it like going up against Tolu yesterday? Obviously, Dylan said he's so crafty down in the paint, but you did a pretty good job on him defensively. What's it like for 40 minutes to go up against a guy like that? Uh, it's fun. So to me, you know, uh, I accept the challenge, but I accept the challenge. And uh, it's fun playing games like guys, guys like that when you score because, you know, it just challenges you a lot in the whole game. Florida and m you played them both this year. Is there a preference you would rather play? Don't matter. And what would be your message to the fan base that maybe wants to get in the car and make a five and a half, six hour drive out here to watch you guys win the title? Uh, come on down, you know, the, the jungle travels. Um, I have the rest of my family coming. Uh, we have work, my brother and sister coming. Uh, they had work yesterday and today, so they be in the car. Uh, you you want to move? Life is great, you know. Uh, they feel even better, you know, winning and having to make all down uh, with this group of guys. Um, because everybody earned it. Um, we worked so hard this whole year, and uh, this is what we've been working for. So it'd be good to see everybody smiling and uh, achieving one of their goals. They wouldn't let you guys take a big lead the entire game. How were you able to hold them together? Uh, you know, they're, they're a spicy team. You know, uh, it was a dog fight. And uh, in a dog fight, you gotta, like you said, you gotta stay on top. And uh, in the end, we got to hope. You know, we get a couple stops, we make a couple shots, and we got to make a couple shots. Yeah.